Welcome to another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. Today, we will explore the Mercado line of the Rizal family tree. This is part one of the Jose Rizal Genealogy series, and we hope that you will look forward to the next episodes in the following weeks. As many of us already know, Jose Rizal's earliest paternal ancestor was Domingo Lamco, a native of the Chinchu district in China, where the Jesuits and the Dominicans had missions, and that means that Domingo was perhaps familiar with Christianity even before leaving China. He was baptized in the Parian Church of San Gabriel on a Sunday in June of 1697. His age in the record was given at 35, while the names of his parents were Sianco and Zunio. Domingo later married a woman almost half his age by the name of Ines de la Rosa. Now, Ines was a Chinese mestiza who was the daughter of a good friend of Domingo, Agustin Chinko. Agustin Chinko was married to another Chinese mestiza by the name of Jacinta Rafaela, while Agustin's parents were Chinko and Zunio. Ines had five siblings, Magdalena Vergara, Josefa, Cristobal de la Trinidad, Juan Bautista, and Francisco Hongsun. Domingo and Ines had two children, Josefa Dinio, who died early, and Francisco Mercado, the first Francisco in the family. Francisco Mercado was a bachelor for most of his life and, like his father, married quite late. He only settled down on May 26, 1771, which was rather late in life than was customary in his town of Binyan. His bride was Bernarda Monicha, who was a Chinese mestiza from the neighboring hacienda of San Pedro Tunasan, who had been orphaned early and from childhood had lived in Binyan Laguna. They had two children by the name of Clemente and Juan. Francisco Mercado and his family were considered well-off at that time, especially judging by the number of carabaos that he registered, which was among the largest herds in the town at that time. He was elected in 1783 as the gobernadorcillo of the town of Binyan, and he lived until 1801. Now his son, Juan Mercado, married Cirilla Alejandra at the age of 22. Cirilla was from Tobigan and was the daughter of one of Domingo Lamco's godchildren, Sionco. Juan Mercado was elected three times as the alcalde or the gobernadorcillo of Binyan. 1808, 1813, and 1823. Now, based also on family history, it is said that it was Juan Mercado who registered his family not as Mestizo Sangle, which was their classification, but as Indio. And it is perhaps from Juan Mercado where Jose Rizal got his deep love for their Indio rather than Chinese ancestry. 
Juan and Serila had the following children. Gavino, Potenciana, Leoncio, Fausto, Barcelisa, who would later marry Hermenegildo Austria, Francisco, Gabriel, Julian, Gregorio Fernando, Casimiro, Petrona, who married Gregorio Neri, Tomasa, whose descendants are the Guzmans, and the youngest Cornelia. Now, of course, most of these have descendants today, and it will be good later on to find out what happened to their descendants. Going to the next generation, we have Francisco Mercado, who was married to Teodora Alonso. Teodora Alonso belonged to a family of professionals, and it will be her family, the Alonsos Rialonda, that we will be presenting in the next video as part of the Jose Rizal genealogy series. Francisco and Teodora had 11 children. These were Saturnina, who was married to Manuel Hidalgo from Tanawan, Batangas, Pashano, the only brother of Jose Rizal, who would have at least two children by his live-in partner Severina de Sena, Narcisa, who would marry Antonio Lopez, who was from Morong, Rizal. Olympia, who would marry Silvestre Ubaldo from Manila. Lucia, who would marry Mariano Erbosa from Calamba, Laguna. We have Maria, who would marry Daniel Faustino Cruz, who was from Binyan, Laguna. And of course, we have our national hero, Jose Protasio Rizal, who would marry Josephine Bracken. Concepcion, who died early at the age of three. Josefa, who had epilepsy but lived up to the ripe age of 80. Trinidad, who never married and lived up to the age of 83. And finally, the youngest, Soledad, who would later marry Pantaleon Quintero, who was also from Calamba, Laguna. So that is our brief presentation on the family tree of the Mercados, starting with Domingo Lamco down to the children of his great-grandson, Francisco Mercado. We hope you enjoyed and learned something new from this video. See you again soon in our next episodes, or you may view other videos in this channel. Thank you for watching, and always stay safe. Goodbye.